Hello everyone, thanks for watching my channel. Today I'm going to talk about a very important condition called Barrett's esophagus. This is a condition which happens if uh, one gets reflux, acid reflux for a very, very long time and it's not properly controlled. The reason I call it very important because it increases the risk of developing cancer of the esophagus. To understand what Barrett esophagus is, I think it's important to understand, first of all, that different parts of our body have got different types of cells. By cells, I mean it's like we have brickwork on the house. They are joined together to form the surface. Same way, on our skin, the surface cells are firm, they are hairy because they protect us from the sun, from the weather, from the ice, from the cold, from the rain. On the other hand, the cells we have inside our mouth and in our, in our esophagus are slightly different because they have to protect us from hot food, cold food, etc. etc. The cells in the stomach are quite unique because those cells have to protect us from the acid in the stomach. So the stomach cells are different from the cells in the esophagus and our mouth. Now to explain what happens in Barrett's esophagus. I'll try and make a model to try and make it clearer for you. Okay, I've drawn this diagram to show what happens in Barrett's esophagus. Um, I hope you understand what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about here. So, this is the esophagus. That is the bulge I have little drawn over here is what we presume is the hiatus hernia or a loose valve between the gullet which is the esophagus and the stomach so that is the stomach that is the first part of the small intestine called the duodenum now we discuss the anatomy of the digestive system in my first video in the series so please have a look at it if you have not watched it already to make things a wee bit easier now you, you can see i have drawn some red sort of uh, bricks in here I have drawn some blue cobblestones in the stomach and I have drawn some green uh, cobblestones in the small intestine. This is just to show that the lining or the floor of the esophagus is different from that of the stomach and what's the lining of the stomach is different from that of the small intestine and further down the large intestine. I've shown these arrows to show this is the acid which is coming from the stomach and because of the hiatus hernia it is going into the esophagus. The acid keeps coming up and starts inflaming causing redness and rawness of this part of the gullet. Yeah, All this starts looking red and raw. Now, body as you know repairs itself. So when these cells get damaged they die and they fall off. When they fall off new cells are formed and when new cells are formed they usually look like the cells that were actually damaged. So when these repair, they will start looking like normal cells of the esophagus. Now, if the reflux does not stop and be carrying on with the reflux over months, over years, over years and years and years, the repair work does not happen completely. Maybe, I don't know why. Perhaps nobody knows why. But in some people, not in everyone, but in some people in whom the reflux is not controlled, the repair, when it takes place, is not replaced like with like. So the cells, which look like this in the gullet, when they are repaired, uh, repaired they are not looking anymore like the cells of the esophagus. They actually start looking a bit different. Now, if you look at it now, after a few years of reflux, not in everyone, but in some people, when the cells of the lower esophagus are damaged, the body repairs the cells, but it does not repair it in a normal way. So normal esophagus cells, perhaps they look like this, red. Now you can see the bottom end of the esophagus as compared to my uh, earlier picture is not looking red anymore. I don't know whether you can see the colors clearly or not, but some of them are looking blue, like that of the stomach, and some of them are looking green, like that of the small intestine. 
Now this change of cells, instead of looking like gullet cells or esophageal cells, the esophageal cells, because of chronic reflux, because of long-term reflux, which is not controlled, start looking like cells of the stomach or the small intestine or both. Now this condition is called Barrett's esophagus.